cross. Yes, that's right. There is a group that patrols the U.S.-Mexico border with a different purpose. KSWT News 13's Micaela Arroyo has the exclusive on the border report tonight. <laughs> This is what we do every day. Eight agents patrol almost 300 miles of border in the Sonora, Arizona desert in San Luis, Mexico. For years, one of the most popular entry points for illegal immigrants and drug smugglers. They do it without any weapons or air support, only a cell phone and a GPS. They are called Grupo Beta, a federal humanitarian group. Their mission. Our purpose is to protect the human rights of migrants, whether they are here legally or illegally. Whenever efforts to turn back migrants don't work, Grupo Veta will give out flyers with helpful tips to survive in the desert. Many see this as helping migrants cross the border. We do not help migrants cross the border. On the contrary, we tell them what they're exposing themselves to. If they do try to cross the desert and We'll tell them about the risk they'll encounter. U.S. Border Patrol agrees. They're just telling them, hey, you know what? It's dangerous here. You don't have enough water. This is what can happen to you out in the desert. There's mountains here. This is what you could run into here. If you're not prepared for the trip, don't make it because your life is a danger. That's their main job. This, since it's not illegal in Mexico to cross the border, just as it's not illegal for U.S. citizens to cross into Mexico. Grupo Beta of San Luis Rio Colorado in Mexico works alongside this border fence in the Arizona Sonora Desert, trying to keep migrants safe. Only drug smugglers use the same routes. What Grupo Beta has often found binoculars, water bottles, crafted ditches on top of this mountain, perfect to watch U.S. Border Patrol drive away. We even found pieces of mirror glass hidden under rocks. Just a few days ago, Grupo Veta followed footprints leading to a stretch of border fence that was being cut the size of a car. I don't think it is for the people to cross. It's a perfect size for a car to drive through. According to Grupo Veta, they notify U.S. Border Patrol of events like this all the time. There's good collaboration and communication with the U.S. Border Patrol. Because of the danger this collaboration could represent for Grupo Beta, U.S. Border Patrol did not confirm such. So you can't understand why I can't say nothing about Grupo Beta and us, because I'm not going to give away their what they're doing. In the last eight months, Grupo Beta has seen a significant change in this border. It's not like before. The office used to fill up with people, as well as our trucks. We used to pick up truckloads of people that were rescued in the desert, and we had to drive back and pick up more. It's not like that anymore. For how long? Who knows? I don't know if it's their presence on the border that keeps them from crossing. Mainly it's the deterrence of the more Border Patrol, the more the presumption that you're going to get caught this time. And that was our Micaela Arroyo reporting tonight. Now, there are Grupos Beta on other Mexican border towns as well, as in the southern border with Central America, where this humanitarian group aids migrants mainly coming through Mexico from South and Central America. Very interesting. Yes, indeed. All right, well, David Bataller is next with sports. Keep it right here.